What's up? It's your boy Fire Dot 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 Mike. You know, the the guy who ten percent of the comment section hate, eighty percent of the comment section be like, "Oh, it's that idiot," and ten percent of people who be like, "I like this guy. He he he, he funny. He funny." And the one percent, that imaginary one percent, even though it is very real, of the bots who just be like, "Can we be YouTube friends?" Yup. Oh yeah, I'm exposing the industry today. But that's not what we here for. What I'm here to bring is what I take in about ten minutes of my day to look into the throwbacks, the top ten like throwback animes that we all used to watch, that we all thought were like cartoons and stuff like that, but turned out to be anime later on in life. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, top ten best anime, best, best, best anime, best. Kicking it off at number 10, we have Sonic X. See, now you think that Sonic X may be a cartoon, but no, Japan did it first. Anyway, freaking, ah, I feel like I don't even need to explain this anime because, like, um, these are throwbacks. Y'all should know this. If y'all don't, then what, what type of life have y'all been living? Anyway, freaking Sonic, you already know. Gotta go fast. <laughs> From the memes, the Sonic movie, y'all could, could pretty much grasp everything. Except, you know, Chris running around every day in season two screaming, It's the Metarex Sonic! And, you know, yeah. <laughs> and we got that number nine. Y'all can't even get mad at me for not explaining the shows because I don't need to. They're throwbacks. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, I'm such a douche. Anyway, um, we have Digimon. I mean, yeah, Digimon. At first, I'm not going to lie. I, w I used to watch it on this thing called Jetix, right? And um, enough about me to anime. Freaking, it's like Pokemon, and but it's not. It's Digimon, the digital monster. Digimon are the champion. I don't even know how to explain this because I vaguely remember the show, but this is throwbacks. So you're supposed to have a vague sense of what this show is, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got that number eight. Now we're about to kick it real. Oh, my God. Uh, no, no, one take Drake, whatever. All right, now we got that number eight, bro, Saint Seiya. I'm not going to lie, bro. I did not finish this show. Like, I used to watch it and get so cringed out by how much he, they resembled the Power Rangers. I'm not going to lie. Um, Man, Saint Seiya. What can I say? Um, He was almost normal until, you know, intergalactic warfare popped off and he had to become a Dragon Knight. I get. I don't know, bro. I used to just watch this while eating Trix cereal. Now, welcome to that level seven. We got Blue Dragon. Oh my God, yo, Blue Dragon had one of the like the throwback songs that you would just like never skip it. Like you know how when you would watch it and then like you would leave the room when the um, when the opening song would pop off. And no, this is the song you would usually stay to listen to, right? So this show's premise is about having dragons pop out of your shadows, like um your Shikamaru, but. These dragons be popping off like their Dio stands and stuff like that. Jojo. Umai wo mo shindiri. No, that's the wrong anime. Oh my god. All right. Um, Sabakuno wo ore no standuru da. That, basically. And we got that number level six, right? Bakugan. This is one of um this is one of the like the more future animes that popped off. It came out like um more then than now, you know. And I'm not gonna lie, this show really did hit different. No wait, hold up. I think this was a cartoon. Just like a regular American meme. Whatever. But um No, it wasn't. I'm walling. Alright, yeah. Freaking the toys was more lit than the show. Freaking monsters came in like little toy balls from a different world called Vestroya. I think I may be stupid, but 
long story short, people started to modernize them as toys and he started to make it into a whole thing and got wicked with it until things popped off and they had to go back to their work. Yo, number five, bro. You're not going to tell me the old Beyblade is not straight up just better than all the other Beyblade spinoff with, with god dang Jinka Hagane and freaking, um, don't even get me started on Beyblade Burst. That show is just the train wreck. Freaking, I'm talking about the old Beyblades, like Beyblade, Beyblade V-Force, Beyblade G-Revolution. I'm talking about the real Beyblades, the real, real Beyblades that used to come on. Those were the only real, like, Beyblade battles where they would, like, destroy the freaking, the dome that they were battling in. Freaking, they would fall, get scratched up. They would be battling literally anywhere in the grass, in the forest, all that. That that Beyblade was the littest Beyblade. You're not going to tell me. Beyblade is Beyblade. Just spinning tops with bit beasts and stuff like that. And the bit beasts will turn into giant monsters that emphasize the freaking um element and um the, the type of ability. Yeah. And it was an animal. <laughs> You know who I am? I invented this technology, and I know how you manipulated the images to resemble those four losers. Yo, number four, you're not gonna tell me at least once in your life have you not had a Yu-Gi-Oh card, bro. I'm talking about the real OG OG Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh season zero. Nah, let me stop. That was a death game, but whatever. Freaking, I'm talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, my God. Freaking Yugi moto a.k.a. Yami Yugi. Nah, let me stop. But whatever, bro. Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Kaiba boy. <laughs> Yugi. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just laughing at my own jokes. But whatever. Y'all hate me in the comment section anyway, so there's no change in that. Boom. Anyway, so Yu-Gi-Oh, a card game, monsters, trap cards, spell cards, all that, counters, monsters, all that. Boom. Yo, and for that number three, you cannot hate me for this, bro. You really cannot. Pokemon. Like, bro, never in your life have you seen a show prosper so much and the character still fails. Like, bro, he only won the Aloha. Like, no, I'm not going to go on a tangent about this, but you already know what Pokemon is about. Capsule monsters, a.k.a. little pocket monsters, the Japanese explanation for it, name for it, whatever. Pokemon, man. Pikachu. There's not one otaku that doesn't know about Pokemon. I shouldn't have to explain these animes to y'all, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Freaking Pikachu is a rat. <laughs> An electrified rat. But people still find it adorable. But when you see one on the street, best believe you're either gonna jump, run, jump and run, or bunt it. <laughs> so, yeah. Number two, I am ranking these. Don't worry, I'm ranking these. This is not a bad rank. This is not a bad ranking list. Number two, we have Sailor Moon. Bro, Sailor Moon is just Sailor Moon, bro. I didn't watch it that much because you know I'm a dude. But, um, Sailor Moon, bro. <laughs> there wasn't, there's not one otaku that hasn't either worn it. No, those are the weeaboos. There, the weirdos. Anyway, freaking, there hasn't been a sailor suit. This is what brung on, like, cosplaying to begin with. This is what kind of, like, freaking accelerated the otaku culture. It's like all the animes we thought that were regular cartoons that we were watching, like, stuff like Powerpuff Girls, but Powerpuff Girl doesn't even matter because it was, like, regular. Until they made anime spinoffs of it, but I'm ranting, sorry. Number one, bro. You already know what number one is for throwback anime. It just has to be. It just has to be. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh, I tried to do the narrator, but my voice cracked. Whatever. 
You already know. You can't, you can't, you, bro. Oh my God. They started the culture for starting a fight that takes five episodes to get into after they finally stop talking. And then when they're finally about to throw the first punch, boom. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. And then, yeah. <laughs> It was so wicked. Like, I used to love watching the show back then, right before playing Mortal Kombat. I don't even remember these days, bro, and they were so lit. Like, I remember when Gohan first went Super Saiyan 2, everybody, and their mother was like, Oh, my God, that's so fire. Like, bro, it was so valid. Like, the whole show, the whole premise. There was never any filler episodes, so no one ever got tight. Like, I mean, the sure, the fights were dragged on a little bit. I'm not going to lie, but they were never bad enough to the point where we would just, like, turn it off or stop watching it. There's not no one in this world who doesn't know Dragon Ball Z at this point of life. That is the end of that list that I really made right before um, taking a nap. I'm not going to lie. Mm, these animes were very lit. They are what really made my childhood. So at least I could feel confident when I put this video out. Well, I'm not putting it out. Freaking the editor is. But yeah, I, I feel confident enough to like say this list and rank it proudly. Because this is the throwback list. This is the throwback. This is supposed to give you out a reminiscence and kind of make you want to like rewatch it and be like, dang, I really want to rewatch these animes now because like they look kind of cool again. I was going to put Gundam on it, but I was like, nah, 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 nah. It got to be something more like everybody watched it. Like Sonic X. Because Sonic is Sonic, bro. But I'm going to stop ranting. Have fun with your day. I know I'm not. <laughs> And if you're here, pop out for the streams because I stream every day. Yes, on YouTube. Yes, Fire. I can't say the rest, but Fire, G-O-D, Mike, handle that. Follow the YouTube. Oh, yeah, just look it up. Fire, G-O-D, Mike.